Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, M. Okolova. And right now, we're doing some stuff with Double S Privateers. Even though, because I accidentally already did. Not to remind it, which we'll read about very soon, but... We're allowed the Northern Sea to go unpolished for far too long. We need to assert our dominance today, and we'll do it through the barrel of a 127mm cannon. As we speak, our admirals are assembling a mixed armada of light cruisers, U-boats, and destroyers. They'll be tasked with enforcing German rule on the high seas and ensuring securing the Baltic trade routes. They'll be like the Hanseatic pirates of old, but not of Germania. The brave men who fight for the double S are like the Teutonic Knights of old. Now that our dream of transforming all of Germany into an old state has been realized, we should honor the Teutonic legacy with a line of chivalry-themed medals, accolations, and titles. We are on the heathen's land on a mission to spread our faith, and that faith is ultra-national socialism. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, dual purpose. Very good. It is 1960, my friends. Happy 1960. This is going to be, hopefully, a glorious decade for us because we will begin to strike out against uh, those people. Certain people will say. Yeah, we'll call them certain people. Certain pests. We'll put it like that. Um, uh, you know what? I think we'll be fine with that for now. Don't worry about that. Confiscation of wealth. Uh, we got to get through a couple more stuff here, but we'll get there. Oh, and also we did with the, the Nazi Germania one. Um, now we can do other stuff here, too, which is very nice. Serbia? Also, uh, I did ask you guys a couple of guys, a couple things yesterday. First of all, some of you guys did recommend we just annex Gotland, um, as well as Benat, because we were supposed to, so we might as well, since um, we were supposed to fire, but didn't, so. And annex Agio. Cool. Now we get to deal with all the crap here. You know, we don't get this core, which is kind of dumb. Honestly, I might just core this up in like a few years, just because it should be cores. Wait, we had a Croatia. Uh, we don't need to see that one. Portable radios. Oh, also, I did ask you guys yesterday what our name should be for intelligence agency, and we went with Grossa Bruder, which I thought was uh, pretty fitting. I like Grossa Bruder. I think that's good, a good one as well. And someone also said Heinrich's Homies. I thought that'd be pretty nice, but I, I prefer right now the, the the brother, the big brother. Um, go to Croatia. Let's come in our military occupation, which we do with it. And so our loyal regime as SS Oldenstadt. Well, technically, we're supposed to have that, so it's fine. And German occupation, occupation of Bosnia. With Bosnia occupied by our forces, the decision what to do with this newly acquired territory is not up for debate. The Bosnian state? Ah, nah, we're okay. We are okay. But after the privateers, what are we going to do? Acquire workers? I would like to do that. S skill is an afterthought. I don't know if I like that one. Strongest will, huh? Um, what do we want? Pair drop of agility, U-boat raiders. Ooh, lightning warfare. Yeah. But we get research uh, thing for suffers. In both the uh, previous world wars, our U-boats gone and a world is of reputation for brute effectiveness. If we want to make this in the international community respect us, we need them to be afraid of what we might do. A greatly expanded fleet of seek and destroy subs would fill that role just fine. Just, just fine. Very good. Oil processing, very nice. Uh, 1960s other stuff. Uh, you can grab that because you can. Naval department's very good. Keep grabbing a lot of stuff here. Um, sub, yeah, well, why not? Special purpose subs. There are certain uses for the U-boats that are better left unmentioned in mixed company. It would be considerably, it would considerably benefit the Reich's interests if we looked into these alternate applications for our deep sea vessels. But now, we need to get more political power first. One and a half is not enough every day. We have a fanatical dictatorship, which sucks. And national SS credits, but, ooh, Russian conquest would be nice. I would like to do that. Wow. Um, hmm. Alright. Finland? Rubber processing, eh? Are you still guaranteed by the U.S. and Sweden? Uh, we're not really, really ready for that. Compass of the Good Reich. Karpatho, Ukraine. Why does it cost so much political power to do this stuff? Ah, the Russian Liberation Movement is probably going to die, so... You know what, at this point, we want them to attack us, so if we do this... We're going to war them now. We'll probably do okay. In like five days. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's grow. Okay, we gotta wait 50 more days. God dang it. Ah. Yeah, like you guys recommended, I'm probably just gonna go use cons commands just to clear warn people. It, it doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, Go get more naval dockyards and get some more refineries as well. Refineries are gonna be the lifeblood for us for quite a while. Encryption is nice though. Great, great, great. And we are done with our naval doctrine. Yes, we are. U boats. Cool. Get some long range subs because we might actually use those. And since we're here anyway, let's get some cruiser hulls, because we could probably use some pretty good cruiser hulls, not gonna lie. Um Let's 
special purpose subs? Why not? Landing warfare. The principles of the Blitzkrieg can be applied to the sea as well as land, if we want our destroyers and cruisers to be effective. They'll need to move fast and hit hard. We should do some more research into the so-called lightning tactics in relation to sea warfare. Yay. Ah, attack sounds good. But we're going to grab some better naval modules, too. All right. Ah, yes. That's a sign of Mongolian War. Very nice, very nice. Let them kill each other. And radar. It's only radar one, but we will take that. We're going to need quite a bit of chromium, aren't we? Quite. Ah. Yes, please. Thank you. Tungsten. Uh, that's jolly good. Well, this takes a long time to do, isn't it? Doesn't it? There we go. And we need to call it Alizin. There we go. Ah, beautiful. And we can, because you can. Are we moving in? Uh, well, maybe not. I forgot to give him orders. God dang it! I did set everything up right, except I forgot to do orders. Oh, actually, you guys can go into Romania. You know what? You guys head into Romania. My bad. Oh, we can't do this yet, can we? Oh, we'd be okay. So now they're moving in. That's good. We'll divvy up the territory between us and Russia a little bit, and hopefully they go to war with us. That's my, that's my hope. If we take some territory now from them... Hello. Hello. Excuse me. No. Have some... Tanks. And then take some fuel. Never mind. Uh... There you go. Long range subs, very nice. Followed up with uh, damage. Oh, we're probably gonna need some of that stuff. We're gonna need some of this stuff too. Cool. Special purpose subs, landing warfare. Oh, the transvogel is gone, and then uh, smaller but faster. The bulky ships of the Second Valkyrie are increasingly being supplanted by smaller, sleeker vessels. For better for worse, naval warfare has increasingly favored lighter aircraft in the intervening years since the war. We'd be remiss to not adapt to the changing times. Improved ammo, nice. There goes Mongolia. Goodbye. Sayonara. Nice. Alright, anything else here yet? <clears throat> Our grip on the Balkans. If only. Just want to go to war, man. Just want to kill them all off. What? All right, we gotta suppress them. Weaponry. We gotta make more stuff, actually, in general. I want to say we have a lot of a lot of stuff. SP light artillery, huh? Wait, do we have SP light artillery? Uh, how are tanks doing? Medium tanks are not very good. Light tanks are okay-ish. Uh, main. Uh, I mean, battle tanks are okay as well. Really not great. Gonna drop them back down. Nice. Very good. More dockyards. As independent formations is very good as well. Very, very good. And then we're going to go with tactical destruction, ground support, and soft attack, hard attack, and speed. Or marines, and yeah, we're going to do this one. Airland strikes. Nice. Send German support. I think Wolfgang is smaller but faster. Form the shoot Staffel Navy. From here on out, the Kriegsmarine is no more. It was an inefficient and treacherous organization that was long overdue for a drastic restructuring. The Reich has found a superior alternative in the form of the SS Kampfmarine. Nice. More speed, max range factor, sub attack. Yes, please. Are you guys going to go in or what? Oh, we're not actually worth you. That's so dumb. What? Screw it. We're going to go allow, allow Diplo. Because we technically wore them, right? Yeah. So we can't do anything until these guys are dead, too, so... Ah, cruiser holes, nice. That's good stuff.
Hmm. I suppose we could use these guys, I guess. Threes, torpedoes, torpedoes, radar, yes. And then we have 50s, which need to go bye bye. We got one, two, we got one. Cruiser holes. Make sure this is a shield so I don't get confused. Two is fine. That's even better. Go with three. Uh, radar is kind of okay ish. Not great, but okay ish. Epic fire guns, three. This one's fine as well. Get uh, dual purpose, which is even better. And getting rid of that? Nope. And that's okay. All right, they should be dead soon. Josiah, so you look kind of familiar. Huh, I wonder where I've seen you before. Hmm. Where have I seen him, Josiah's before? Also, someone says, why is it our ideology purple? Uh, it's because of Strangeheim. Pretty much. Someone says we should take it down Italo Balbo. Yeah, Annex Ottoman Benat. And play as Strahinja Janjik Serbia? I don't know what that is, but eventually I would like to. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give them almost all this territory. I think they deserve most of it. Like, well, we are generous people. We care about the people. So they should get most of this stuff, right? Right. Not everything, of course, but most of it. You're going to give all the way up to there. You're welcome, Russia. Occupation of Aral. Huh. Uh, so now we're at peace. We're going to go over to Romania next. Where's this one? Formerly controlled by a Russian warlord named Transvolga. The Oral region is now under our direct control. It's up to us to determine the fate of Oral. We're going to transform this region into a civil administration or we can prolong our direct occupation of the region. So let's do that one. I think Oral will be kind of cool to see. Oh, down here. Cool. Yeltsk. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need this, especially once you attack these guys. Because I remember when doing this, like the AI just it wants to screw you over when you do this, so. Cool. Ah, heavy ot. I love it. Let's get some of that. Hammer Retarder. Very cool. go and grab some of that too nice happy 61 everybody small but faster and uh, shoot stuff with navy follow it up with military police because we can oh nice China invades Laos uh, let's go do something else let's do something different the Greek crisis is over okay well how about the Aryan culture movement the world ought to know that the Fuhrer is a man of culture and a patron of the arts. He feels that the glory of the Aryan race should be celebrated through arts as well through words and deeds We've received his approval to begin work on a series of ambitious cultural projects to facilitate Aryan or rejuvenation. This may lead to severe consequences. The second Gleichschaltung. It has to be what it has to be. War goals, yes, please. Russian conquests. Eventually. Eventually, I promise you that. Heinz Bam and Jessica Schmidt. Eric Lang. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, we're missing quite a few things here. SP light artillery, mean, medium battle tanks. Well, honestly, we just need more tanks. It's just not enough, man. We're already on closed economy, so we need to conquer more and take more stuff. Uh, thank you. Thank you, too. All for the wool machine. Well, Romania been fun. Oh, you're out of the Oh, hungry too, huh? Can you guys actually win here? What do I force you all to force the attack? Do we have any extra planes here, maybe? Uh, hopefully. There you go. 
And do we have anything tack? Eh, I'll give some tack bombers because we can. But I want you to do this. Attack these and these. And that one. Alright, is there any more casts? Interceptors, fighters, wartime casts. There's a little bit, not much. I want this war to be bloody. Oh, this is, oh, coming this way. Oh, whoops, my bad. Well, yeah, that's okay, so we can send these guys over here. I forgot about that other side. My bad. There you go. Well, that's why we're pouring through here as fast as we possibly can. 31,000 is not enough. Of course, it is hungry, too, so... It's alright. Boom, it shoots off on Navy. Very good. Oh, can do it. We have to be a peaceful one? Oh, that sucks. Okay, choir workers. Why not? My bad. I forgot that they had that stuff up there, too. But they they can't do anything on this front. They Well, they can push out some tanks, but still. Can they actually pierce us? No, some of, uh, a little bit they can, maybe. Yeah, they can definitely pierce us. Of course, that's the SS divisions. They're more mechanized divisions, so... My bad, I forgot about that side. You need a bigger industry, man. You get some better tanks, too. Base black promoter, very nice. It's got a little bit of conflict here. Nice. Should easily win in Bucharest. How are we not winning here? I do not understand. What is wrong with AI? Like, our infantry divisions are fine. There, there's nothing really wrong with them. But, these guys cannot do anything here. These guys are maybe, they're not even 40 combo with. Then again, you're only 18 combo with. Ah, that explains it. Ah, my bad. My fault, no wonder you can't win. Let's not waste lives then. We're going big. We're getting thick. We could use SS infantry, which makes more sense, you know, just game gameplay wise, but like, it's not worth it. Hmm. Go with that for now. Don't worry about attacking. Let the tanks do the attacking, which even then, the tanks aren't that great either. Bucharest is ours. My bad about all that nonsense. Oh boy. Are we seriously out of... Germany just does not have enough. Look at all this extra anti-tank and stuff like that. That's stupid. Germany just does not have enough factories. Norway and Serbia. Ah, Serbia next. Uh, what do they want? Occupation of Romania. At last, the elements uh, of the Romanian resistance surrendered. Romania is now affected under, under control. What should we do with this piece of occupied territory? That's this Odenstadt. Rumanin? Hmm. Do we need to buy any more fuel? What oh, resource wise? What do they have for resources here? Lots of fuel. A little more steel that we don't really need. The fuel is probably the biggest thing, but. Oh, we're still worth hungry, too. Uh, I don't know. Ah, uh, direct occupation. I'll see you guys here anyway. Yeah, weird. These guys are not capitulate with them, even though they were their puppet. Whatever. It's fine. Just go in there. How can you beat... Uh, it is that. This type of division. Go straight up. Or just go to Budapest. Oh, they took Vienna, huh? They died in Vienna. As they should. Goodbye. Thanks for the tanks. And go back to the line. Nice. Improved heavies. Nice. Even better improved heavies. Yes. Yes, yes. Acquire workers. The Nanjing Pact. Good luck. 
Let's be at peace for now. And the culture movement. Give us some time. So, occupation of Hungary. Uh, what do we do? So, but SS Odenstadt Ungarn. Eh. Well, we have no political power, but I don't know. Maybe we should have done it. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see what happens next time. Because we are just trying to annex some of these guys up, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. Cool. And 1960 stuff. Get some better maintenance. Main battle tanks are out. We need more APCs. He's motorized. We added that stuff too, which is fine. Remove that. Uh, actually, don't remove that yet. Maybe we'll make them 40 combo hits. We'll see. So after this one, what are we going to do next? Do we need to be at peace for this stuff? Paganism endorsed. There's a lot of research speed. Let's get through a lot of the research first before we do that bloodiest eagle. Esoteric Germania. Uh, retrofitting the army. With the defeat of the rebellious here, they now have surrendered a vast surplus of equipment to us, as well as surrounding soldiers. We'll have plenty of perfectly good tools and men on hand, so we should incorporate what we can into the newly SS aligned military. Yeah, why are we losing all these battles? It's because our military sucks. Um. Motorized artillery, I guess. Or our armor quite a. No, actually, not that much. Um, go APCs. I, don't, I know we don't have enough for this, but I don't really care. These are better me than mechanized anyway, so. We're doing that. Uh, each one gives you how much more soft attack? 16.6. .6. These guys give you 56, so I feel pretty justified doing this. Now we're really out of APCs. And artillery. But it is what it is. Um, go Turkey. Grab a lot of that stuff. Oh, you're still on the line. That's pretty bad up there, huh? Nice. Alright, so then now we can retrofit for the army so we can get some more supplies and stuff. Let's go get some better uh, supply. Yeah, supply consumption. Oh, Serbia. Second Glacial Tomb. News of the Schutzstaffel's takeover and transformation of German political, economic, and. Uh, <clears throat> Social life is finally reached outside world, but this this news is not the policies of our actions, but rather a series of government-sponsored outbursts of the chaos breaking out across Germany. A second glacial thing has been initiated in order to energize the creation of a unified cultural identity, Arianism. Youth groups, organized under local SS leadership, have committed massacres, mob lynchings, mutilations, and various other atrocities across cities against supposed dissidents. Regulations for Aryan culture have been introduced, and large-scale crackdowns have begun in the more culturally independent parts of Germany. Local econ economies lie in tatters, German society is only more polarized, and human capital is fleeing en masse. Speak only when told. Yeah, we are losing. Oh, uh, then again, it's, only, it's, it's these divisions that are not very good. It's fine, whatever. And it is mountains, of course, what do you expect? And now the Air Force is finally showing up, okay. And honestly, you know what, if we struggle here, that's a little bit okay. Just because I want to make sure that we can get some more experience. Eh, Belgrade's surrounded. Burn it. For you, uh, you're fine. Struggle a little bit. It's fine. Gotta make us better. Oh, that's it. Serbia and Montenegro. As much as I want to do that, I want to show Montenegro. It's fine, whatever. Um, what's next? Uh, let's see. Car Carpatho, Ukraine. Versus Russian Conquest. Oh, Bulgaria. Yeah, I'll probably do Bulgaria next once we get out of this political deficit. I love Bulgaria. But in the meantime, that does give us more time to get some more military factories, construction stuff. Pretty much all the stuff that we really do need, so. Just build, 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 build. How's the Navy looking, actually? 21 ships. That's pretty mighty. Impressive. With some, with a carrier, look at that. The Graf Zeppelin. Nice. Where are you? Oh, go up to 50. There you go. I don't know why you're limiting yourself. Nice. So what do you have here? Couple, lot, quite a few battleships. And these are, they say they're heavy cruisers, but they're really like just light cruisers, so. Super heavy armored piercing shell, nice. 
Oh, we have 500 more. I guess a lot of this, these guys I deployed early on, just when we go to war with the Toronto Accord, so... Uh, integrating the high command, integrating the rank and file soldiers of the hair under the Waffen SS should be pretty simple, but what to do with the officers course the tricky matter? We'll have to carefully review every commander's past to determine whether they can be accepted into our organization or not. And we need that political power, so we'll reward the loyalists. We can never forget the non-SS officials who sided with us on the day that opening f open fighting broke out. These chosen few will be rewarded handsomely for aiding us in our hour of need. Absolutely. Are we actually out of guns for realsies? Holy crap. But not really, no. You guys are fine. Mm, yes, signals. Good. Um, 61. Colony, huh? Uh, they're both there, I guess. Yeah, you guys are okay. Yeah, this is a really crappy division. Uh, um, actually, you guys are pretty much all APC. So basically, you should be the motorized. Honestly, you guys should probably convert yourself to this. Because some of you guys have this, which are a 40 combo with, with like basically no armor because they have no APCs right now. So yeah, it kind of sucks. We need a lot more APCs. Wowzers. Some might say wowzers and bowsers too. But oh well, rewarding the loyalists. Because, yeah, you're just. not great. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. It's fine. Consolidate them. Logistics 3, very nice. Anything else for artillery? No, it doesn't really look like it. Land doctrine's coming along. Armor? Oh, yeah. Better tanks. Oh, we're merging them still. It's fine with us. Full strength, 40 combo with divisions. We don't have many of them. But I'd rather have quality of a quantity. That's the landing craft. Very nice. Uh, any other casts? Interceptors? Nah, let's do that anyways. There we go. That's landing craft. Frigate hulls. Do we have destroyers here? No. Actually. Another super, super heavy? Or just heavy. Not super heavy, but heavy. Nice. I'm sorry I'm taking so long to go to war. I just, I want to do this as legitly until the end. Um, when do they get rid of their thing here? Because once we do go to war, like, that's gonna, we're gonna go balls to the wall pretty much. We're warning the loyalists. Ah, uh, shoot off of the The Falschermiega were amongst the most elite and feared members of the Luftwaffe of old. We will have to recreate that fearsome reputation if anyone is going to respect our new air force. The, un the craven Untermensch of Europe should live in fear of us. Are the possibility of our paratroopers coming down from the heaven to fi rain fire on them for their insolence? Yes. Might as well do it. Why not? Destroyer holes. We can get a batch of that going. Nice. Nice. Uh, sonar would not be bad. Looking pretty good so far. Lots of anti-sub. Get some anti-air. We'll get some more anti-sub. Uh, you know, get some torpedoes because you can. Nice. I look right to like. Yes. And the Bulgaria too. Bulgaria. Oh, look at this. A mathematical re revolution versus Aryan science. I love Aryan science. It's my favorite type of science. Oh, we still have Aries here to build. So I do apologize that we're not continuing the story with Heinrich and his daddies. No. Um, yeah, and we will attack Italy eventually. Like I'm the, I want to get the focus tree, and if we can't go to war with, like Italy normally, I hope we don't get cooed. Uh, we'll see what happens. Caravan strikes, and then combine blitz. And one of the reasons why I just want to ask everybody is just because we can resources directly. Because I don't want to deal with, like, autonomy and stuff like that. That's boring. Yasun. Oh, that should be really good to get more resources here, too. Krasnodar. It all has to be perfect. All of it. Uh, Mathematical Revolution. We'll do that one next. 
Signal companies, very good. Happy 62, everybody. Do we have it? Yes. Actually, you guys are 8... 20 combat weight. Oh, you guys have the... Oh, so that's all you need it. Yeah, no. We'll gain... We'll need 800 medium tanks, huh? I like the SP artillery, but I want SP art artillery. Yeah, 176 more soft attack is pretty... Uh, some might say poggers, so... I'm going to probably regret saying that in the future, but whatever. We have X1 extra tank, huh? Nice. Modern naval mines, nice. Anything else here? No, not really. We're, we're researching very fast. Could we actually win here? That's my question. Looks like maybe no. But you never know until you try. I mean, these guys are looking... Some of these guys look really bad, but... Commando operations. Our advisors suggest that airborne commandos could be of great tactical use if they are employed effectively. Should we drop them into areas of unrest? They may be able to effectively unbush and subdue native Untermension and or Judeo-Bolshevik rebels. And we do have absolute air domination, so... What you want to do is go here. Keep these guys in place. Even if you can't win there, that's really bad. Just keep going, Keith. Keep going. He's by promoted. Very nice. Very nice. Ah, good. See? Now they're gone. We lost 7,000 versus 80,000. Honestly, not really worried about uh, losses. Only 15 million men in the reserve, so... And like I said, any struggle here will probably really benefit us. Especially becoming like a cavalry leader, a mountaineer. Ah, not that bad. Even though the tanks are still not that great. We just don't have a big enough industry yet. Karpatha, Ukraine. Alright, direct rule from Germania. Occupation Bulgaria. Every time, everything goes to silence. No gunshots, artillery fire, no bombardments, nothing. The hour is zero for the Bulgarian people. Nobody knows what is going to happen next. Everyone in Bulgaria is in shock and awe from the simple farm on the countryside to the rich industrialists in Sofia. On this fateful evening, the last bit of government remaining signed the unconditional surrender. Now with Bulgaria under our lands, the Reich's Ministry of Liberation gives us three proposals. The first option is installing a collaborationist regime. We'll also allow the new Bulgarian administration to keep its current territory. The second option is to split Bulgaria and Macedonia. While in Bulgaria, we install the same collaborationist government as mentioned in the first proposal. Macedonia will be placed under military administration to increase our influence in the region and be a base for further military operations. The third option is direct occupation of both Bulgaria and Macedonia. This is the best option to exploit the resources and people of the region, but also the one with the highest risk involved. I'd love to do this stuff. I really would, but... Direct control. We need those resources. Whatever it is, which is not very much. Was it aluminum? Ah, uh, maybe we got some chromium. Oh, yes, we did. Uh, I need more tungsten, though. It's fine. Grab it. Get more civvies, too. Beautiful. Cyclic re rate reducer. Nice. 62. Nice. A wee bit ahead of time for that, but not really too much. Now he's going to do that anyways. Passive defense, nice. Grab some of that too. Main battle tanks. Need way more of this, way more of that. Oh boy. Ah, ah, Arusha Physique. The concept of exploiter and the exploited has been throughout history. The foundation of all societies, hierarchy is primordial. And yet... Every nation has, until the creation of the Reich, risen and fallen. The reason for this phenomenon is, like in all things, a matter of race. States have made the fatal mistake of letting lower races interbreed with lower castes, leading to the interbreeding of lessers with upper castes, and subsequently leads to demise. Parasites, too, such as the Jews, have climbed hierarchies in order to puppet the upper classes and destroy their for their fund benefit. The SS has seen this historical tragedy and formed a system to counteract it. The old regime spared races, separated races and hierarchy to the downfall in reality. The two are the exact same with such knowledge. Is our destiny to master Jyotith, as well as understand it. The SS requires a true, uncorrupted scientific community to research the laws that govern our world. Being as the second Gleichaltung is in progress, the time is nigh for the Aryanization of the Jew tainted field of study. 
Apple Dines, and the name that haunts the scientific community. The Jew who did nothing but push back progress by presenting abstract connections between space and time, backed by no evidence. And in an eye foundational scientific concepts such as the existence of the luminiferous aether. His theories will be eradicated. His existence will be eradicated. Albert Einstein was never a person, just the pen name of an international Zionist, each attempting to destroy the Reich, however. Despite these falsities, Jewish physics necessitates further investigation. We cannot combat them if we do not understand their capabilities on the personal orders of Heimler. Werner Heisenberg will be heading research into Jewish physics. Johannes Stock, a veteran Aryan physicist and champion of the Erisha physique movement, has been made the head of a committee dedicated to the preservation and radicalization of physics. You will never not eradicate the Jewish spirit. Aryan science! Oh, that's a research speed, but oh well. Ah. No. Ah. Did we win at least here? Yay, we won this one very easily. Albania's oh, gone. Yeah, we we'll keep doing this. We we'll literally have no political power here. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but still. Yeah, I think at this point I'm just going to start just taking people out. Because we can. Because that's, that's just much more fun. Spreading, we'll call it love. Yeah, we're spreading love across the world. Um, is there any more of this? Is there any more, way more of this? I mean, way more of this where we're headed, and way more of that too. Spain joins a Mediterranean Pact. Interesting. Well, we got two armies to kill off there then, huh? And is Russia doing nothing against us? Like, what are they up to? Nothing. Bad supply, huh? Oh, did you not get orders to do this? There it is. Kudo. There you go. Expanding that and then the falling devils, the people. <clears throat> Look at that. Of Europe have gone complacent. The terror has left their hearts. In time, they will learn once more to feel the military might of the Reich. The airborne commandos will descend upon the earth to strengthen the ranks of our land forces. Which we should really... Oh, we should probably do some war economy, but whatever. Uh, physics. Nuclear physics. Alright, it's time. We just gotta start moving out. No matter how strong or weak we are. You're losing. Wait. Get your German Reich. Uh. 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 Okay, that's really weird. Okay, then. Very odd. But alright, then. Ah, uh, then the Mediterranean Pact. Yeah, we might just kill them off. We'll see what happens. Tricky though. Armenia exists? Nonsense. Nonsense. I don't want to send tanks here, but we're going to send tanks here. Nice. Falling Devils. 22 more ships. God dang. And again, a lot of these are subs, which is very nice to have. Steve uh, new commander. Holy crap, 100? Can we, man? Improved firepower. You might as well grab that one, too, because it can. Yep, time to go in. What happens if we go to war with Russia too early? I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens, though. And there goes Armenia. And boom. Yeah. Share the wealth. Hang out. Some of you guys leave. Corvette holes are very nice. Um, way too out of time for that.
do have some issues here with supply, which sucks. I should be okay over here, though. How bad is supply here? Oh, it could be a lot worse. Why don't we just attack? Opposing influences? Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Now, my goal is not to attack first, maybe? Can you guys actually win over here? Yeah. Not bad. Pretty good oh, so far, I'd say. Aryan science? Yeah. Of course. Armenian land transfer. Uh, sure. Right, good luck with that, guys. At least we don't have to deal with it. That's nice. That's the nice thing about that. Yay! Head on over. Yep, they made it. Yeah, I definitely don't want to attack you because supply's so bad. Falling devils. Um, wait for some of this other stuff. Gross. Dodge and shines. Why not? Why not? Can you actually win here at all, maybe? Yes, no, maybe so, yes. I mean, turkey has got... We got a lot of support here, hopefully. Obviously, this is a terrible idea to send tanks into mountains and stuff, but whatever. We're going to try to make more uh, stuff here. Artillery's bad, which is not brand new. We kind of already knew about that, so... Upgrade twos. Upset Dietrich. Unfortunate. My friend, unfortunate. Alright, got more political power. Wow. Go figure. Nice. I'll take that, is that it? Well, that honestly should be it. This is so bad, holy crap. Why is it so god-awfully bad here? I hate fighting these stupid mountains. Get out of here. I'm not gonna do this anymore. You know, I'm sick of tired of waiting for Russia. I really am. Do something, Russia. Go to war with us. Do something. New coronation. Um, I don't want to do that one just yet. All for the bomb. Yeah, I'll offer the bomb next. Let's go. We're going to go over to Russia next. I, I don't want to wait any longer. I really don't. They're taking too long. How much more do we need to take out Turkey? This is ridiculous. We took out Con Istanbul, almost to Constantinople. We got those guys. You guys are coming back. Should be able to do this, right? Offer the bomb. But a lot of us talk unifies Russia. Well. Oh well. We're gonna take a lot of our tanks here. Go in and win. Where's our capital? How do we get encircled here? How do they get Ankara back? What the heck is going on? Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is stupid. Turkey needs to fall faster than this. They really do. This doesn't make any sense. Yep, we lost a division. Whatever. Get to Izmir right now. They should have capitulated by now. They honestly should have. So stupid. How many capitals do we need to take? This is ridiculous. So incredibly stupid. That's stupid. No. I'm sorry, but no. No, 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 no. Kill all the Turks in here, then. Well, not, like, in real life, but, like, in the game. Nope. Burn them all. Burn them all. So stupid. We took off more than half the country and still not giving up. But, 
Arsh Mathematik. To be able much is to be naturally imbued with the qualities of, of expanding wisdom, a powerful and determined inner drive, and an, an intellect unmatched by any other race inhabiting Jotith. The Aryan race is adept at the study and expansion of the mathematical field. It is for these reasons that the Reichsfuhr SS Heinrich Himmler has initiated the official incorporation of the Deutsch Mathematik movement as an organ of the SS. The movement has been relabeled Arsh Mathematik in order to better coordinate with the Second Gleichschaltung, a change made on the personal orders of Heinrich Himmler. Acclaimed Aryan mathematicians such as Oswald Teichmüller and Ludwig Biberbach will be headed, heading the committee and will be given substantial power to reform our nation's educational system. Their work considering Russia's uh, Riemann's surface habitation, or ha habilitation and holomorphic functions will become necessary reading for scholars entering the mathematical field. Their achievements will be codified across the universities throughout Germany, and the progress will forever be known as accomplishments of the Aryan race. They will also be reforming our nation's mathematic outlook, which up until this point has seen little interaction with the Reich itself. The goal of this operation is the establishment of a factually realized connection between Aryan race and mathematical proficiency, as well as restructuring of our mathematical community along lines of institutionalist thought. Such comprehensive reform plans carry with them many responsibilities. Older mathematicians may attempt to cling on to when math was unregulated, and as such, they are obstructing the progression of the second Gleichschaltung. Teichmüller and Biberwach themselves have recognized that this field of study has been nearly absolutely corrupted with, by internal uh, Zionists attempting to destroy the Reich from within. Such behavior is to be eradicated. We will never not utilize our spatial imaginations. I'm going to get rid of a lot of people here. Middle East is going to be our playground for a long time. Why the heck does... Why does Israel own this? What the heck? Israel, you can't take land that you just feel like you want to take. Fate of Turkey, screw those people. Yeah, direct occupation. You're going to burn. You're going to burn hard. I uh, can't wait to set up camps. Since we're here too, we got to make sure that we have enough uh, uh, support here as well. Cool. Don't really fear having too much here. Cut my wounded, so be it, so be it, so be it. There you go. Um, get some uh, war bonds. Uh, oh, when did this fire? Way to be a piece for this. Uh, that's fine, whatever. Confiscation of wealth, Svalbard project. Not bad. All for the bomb. And we finished up a lot of stuff already. Uh, skills and afterthought, it's going to be really bad for 8th generation chance, but better ground support. Due to the recent disillusion of the Luftwaffe, we don't have many reliable or trustworthy personnel. We may have to lower our requirements for the new pilots if we wish to make the Waffen SS Air Corps a reality. Good luck, Johnny. You're doing, you're doing work. Until we get over there, we kill you guys all off, but whatever. Who cannot give us our goodies? America will support us in our, in our endeavors. Yeah, let's keep going, guys. How many guys have we lost? 67,000 versus a quarter million? Not bad. Uh, that was pretty good. They got a lot of manpower, though, so I'm not too worried about that. They've up to 40 divisions max. It's not bad for us. Overall, for us, we lost a lot of tanks, a ton of artillery, Jesus Christ, and more. We're still losing more artillery, which sucks, but whatever. We should get some more millies as well. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff here. But let's go to war some more. Oops. Miles is good to war the entire world at this point. What's the point of these guys taking stuff over? They cannot deal with the resistance here. Let's do that. Why not? Um, cool. And skills and afterthought. We don't need that extra manpower, but whatever. And then what is it? Strongest will. We don't necessarily need that much skill to get by, as long as our inexperienced pilots are sufficiently determined. The strength of the spirit will carry them to victory. The ones who survive the coming battles will have accrued the necessary experience to make up for the skill deficiency. And the game is lagging? No, it's not. Ah, Lebanon's gone. Not the other one. Which, honestly, these guys will fall pretty darn soon, as long as we get to Amman. So, not bad. We may need to consolidate some more of our tanks, but we'll see what happens. Obviously, we need more artillery as well, but... Oh, well. 
Hey, we got him. But you know what? I think I've got to end the episode there. Just because in the next episode, it's time to take out Israel. And continue expanding the GGR on the new Ordnung. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow. When we will continue expanding our borders. And probably go to war finally with the... At least Mediterranean Pact. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.